Welcome back to Central New York's Open House. I'm here at the Mohawk Valley Resource Center for Refugees celebrating World Refugee Day. World Refugee Day is a day designated by the United Nations High Commission on Refugees as a day around the world to uh, celebrate and commemorate uh, refugees and their experiences um, around the world. Utica is one of over 400 resettlement sites across the country and we resettle uh, refugees from all over. Um, right now primarily from Burma, uh, out of Thailand, um, some Bhutanese out of Nepal, Iraqis, uh, Africans uh, from either Somalia or Kenya, uh, Sudanese. So uh, their experiences and their stories are you know, vastly different and yet kind of all the same. People that have been displaced from their countries of origin due to war or um, persecution, um, sometimes a combination of that and a natural disaster. And um, they've been designated as refugees. Many of them have been in camps for a decade or more. And, uh, and, and they await resettlement to uh, a country that will allow them to you know, start over, to live a life, to have um, recognized status, somewhere to be a legal citizen. The Mohawk Valley Resource Center for Refugees has been in Utica for over 30 years. And um, we've resettled uh, about 14,500 people in that time. And um, we provide uh, you know, resettlement services so that when a refugee arrives uh, in Syracuse at the airport, we pick them up and put them in um, a home that we've furnished and we have food in for them and all the things that they're going to need, the, the basic needs, to, to begin a life here. And then we provide a case management services so that they get the proper IDs and apply for a social security number, enroll their kids in schools, uh, establish primary care physicians, um, all the things that they need to do initially to start their life here. And that uh, typically, that intense case management period takes anywhere from 90 to 120 days. They get um, English as a second language instruction here uh, in partnership with the Utica School District. And we look for jobs for them, for all the employment eligible um, arrivals, really as soon as they get here. The Refugee Center not only supports the local community, but they also host the International Human Rights Festival known as Unspoken. The Unspoken Conference is October 17th and 18th, a two full day event. Um, it's a gendered perspective of human rights um, and we'll take a journey really from um, how refugees are selected and how they get here um, to um, gender-based violence issues that occur within those environments. Um, what we're looking at particularly are um, things that are working throughout the world um, to end gender-based violence. Um, so there's an uh, Gil Garcetti, who was a former Los Angeles um, district attorney, will be here. Um, he's a photographer and he does uh, has a global project um, on women, water, and wells. That project will be, um, <clears throat> he'll talk about his project and, and how um, clean drinking water um, does so much for women and girls in, Af in West Africa. Uh, we will have an organization called Toastan, who has um, successfully gotten over 4,000 communities to abandon certain gender-based violence um, traditions um, that have gone on for thousands of years within a relatively short period of time. Um, they are models that we can look to for human rights and democracy um, and uh, public health issues that um, not only apply to the refugee and immigrant populations, but also to our general population. Um, so it's really going to be exciting. We have global leaders coming to discuss um, what they're doing to uphold human rights, in particular of women and girls, and, com and how communities can be supportive. If you'd like to know more about the conference and to register for the conference, it's um, IamUnspoken.com. There's a registration piece there. It will be a really great training for folks who um, are in the community to, to recognize, um, to learn about 
different issues that are out there in the world. And then, so we marry global to local. Um, there is a, a professor from the University of Albany who does a lot of work um, in Haiti and throughout the world. She'll also be speaking about what upholding economic um, um, traditions and working with people. So, so it's going to be really great. So learning more about it at IamUnspoken.com and uh, register and come. We'd love to have you.